All right. What up, Cine399, Self Parking Society? Um, I want to spend a few minutes going over uh, our final uh, project for this class, which is, I'm sure y'all have read ahead and are already, you're already there, already planned out, um, but it's, it's a presentation. So um, the reason why I'm posting this video is to just, you know, talk through the assignment uh, description itself. Um, in case you have any questions, but also because you know uh, you do have a um, a proposal uh, that's due soon, so um, do be mindful uh, of that. So um, if we go into uh, Canvas um, to find the assignment description, uh, you will go into Assignments and. Um, so a couple of things uh, you will have here. Um, you have your final presentation proposal. That's where you submit your, your proposal. Um, you also will have uh, the bibliography for your presentation. So you'll submit a bibliography here. And if you click on here, final presentation, this is actually the assignment um, description. So. Um, so just so you know, there is a one to two paragraph proposal, like low stakes, um, really, um, that's due um, at the end of week five, which is coming up, um, where you basically pitch me an idea for this, and this is due uh, right before finals week, okay? Um, the proposal is worth 10% of your grade on this project, and this project is worth, uh, what's it, 40% of your final grade. So you know, do be mindful and do do that, okay? Um, after you submit the proposals, there will be a little bit of a delay, and then you'll be broken into teams, workshop teams of approximately five, um, five students, five of your peers, where you will basically spend the next five weeks meeting at your own time, um, however y'all want to do it, whether it's Zoom or or Microsoft Teams or Google Docs or you know that you set up or whatever um, you'll meet with a group of your peers each week um, and you will work together to workshop and develop your presentations and at the end of this document there's a whole sort of um, ladder or scaffold of what you should be doing each week um, to make sure you're on point now I have you do the proposals um, now um, so that you're not making up a presentation and pulling it out of your ass um, literally like the day of or two days before so let's start thinking about this now work through it over time so hopefully it's less stressful um, for everybody okay um, the 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 workshop groups uh, also is worth 10% of your grade on this on this final project so 20% of your final grade on this project is actually um, uh, a proposal and um, then you know going through the group work and you will each be able to um, discreetly uh, or anonymously grade your peers in your group so maybe Susie Q um, rocked it showed up all the time offered great feedback maybe jumping Jimmy um, never showed up or showed up and was taking bong rips um, the whole time in the Zoom meeting or whatever. Okay, so what is this assignment? So basically, you know, you've listened to me, watched me um, talk um, a lot about South Park uh, this term, and so now it's my turn to get to learn from y'all, which is actually um, really great for me. I, I love that. I love this part. So I want you to sort of, you know, synthesize. Um, you know what you learned in this class with your own interests and um, with basically uh, you know um, the show it, the show itself and maybe try to go beyond where where we've gone. There's so many episodes and so much even within the episodes that we've watched that you can touch on. So basically, I want you to choose an episode or a topic that we haven't covered in class. Now it could be a topic we covered in class, but maybe you want to break it down using an episode that wasn't part of our curriculum. If you have a question about what we're doing um, until the end, you can click here, take a loot, Jesus, take a loot at our schedule and see the topics, episodes covered. So you can click on this link. It'll take you to a page that will basically show you 
you know, okay, um, you know, let's just say, you know, module uh, 16, you know, South Park is gay, the politics of gender, sexuality, and our bodies, and what are we going to watch in and out of class, follow that egg, and death camp of tolerance, the next class is a, uh, drugs are bad, okay. uh, hi hippies, drugs, and liberty, okay. uh, and um, we'll be watching Die, Hippie, Die, a medicinal fried um, chicken, so this just gives you a sense of, you know, the episodes we watched and the topics, okay? Um, or stuff that we will get into. Um, so again, like I said, it doesn't, it should be an episode maybe we didn't watch or a topic we didn't cover, but there's so many ways to like get into all of the topics that we did talk about in this class or did cover um, in some ways that maybe we didn't hit from certain angles. So but I mean, just think outside the box here. I mean, there's just so much. So like the example I give is like, um, you're maybe into sports. So you look at the episode, uh, Crack Baby Athletic Association, which is basically a critique of how the NCAA and um, universities are non nonprofits that basically exploit the labor of student athletes, um, you know, um, so like, what you would present in this, you know, is not just talk about the episode or summarize it. You know, you talk about the controversy of not paying, you know, student athletes, specifically in the large money um, sports of, of basketball um, and, and, and uh, football, which are huge multi million dollar in industries. So you, you know, and now you have um, college athletes, specifically in, in football and basketball that are fighting for and are getting financial compensation at some of the big institutions. So, so what I'm saying is that's just one way you could go. And South Park has covered sports in, in different ways, so that could just be one thing. Um, you could do something like this. You could be interested in Wendy as the feminist uh, on South Park, the feminist perspective. Um, you know, you could look at race. I mean, S South Park deals with race um, and ethnicity in so many different ways. Um, you know, so there's just, you know, World War Zimmerman. I mean, there's just so many episodes that really take on um, some of that stuff. They have a great episode that I'm blanking on the name of that's a critique of um, the Confederate flag and the argument that it's you're changing history and all that stuff. Um you know, um, you could look at other episodes like that we didn't like. So we did talk about economics, but we didn't watch Margaritaville. You know, um, you know, you could look at gender equality expressed in Eat, Pray, Queef. Um, you know, whatever. You could look at one of the movies like Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, and talk about censorship. Um, or you could talk about Book of Mormon. Um, you know, or even get real weird and go to Orgasmo. <laughs> um, um, or, or whatever. I mean, I just want you to sort of think outside of, of the box uh, of the box here, okay? I just really want you to make sure too that you address like the social elements, the context of production, whether that's the historical moment or the social issues. You know, like in each one of the modules, I kind of break down, you know, some of the you know um, sociological elements here. Um, okay, so basically, you're gonna present, you're gonna produce a traditional academic presentation using PowerPoint or Google Slides or something like that, and you'll record it um, in Canvas using Panopto, which is what I'm actually using now, um, or you could probably do it in Zoom or something, something like that, and upload it um, here. Um, the presentations should be formal and they should be no less than six minutes and definitely no more than eight minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, that's that. Here's some instructions on using Panopto and submitting Canvas assignments, okay? Um, you know, do make sure that, um, you know, don't show us too, too much. You know, if you have six to eight minutes and you spend half of that showing us clips, you know, really think about that. So be very specific in what you show us from the episode, okay? Um, so you have one to two pa paragraph or page proposal due uh, as a PDF um, soon here, okay? And you want to make sure that your presentation, when you design it, um, you could also you know submit um, instead of a proposal, you could you know you could submit an outline. That's that's totally fine as well. Um, but you want to make sure that your in your proposal, 
and your outline, you have a clear introduction, you know, um, you know, your content, you know, the meat and potatoes, your analysis, and then your conclusion, why does it, why does it sort of matter part, okay? Um, so again, this is worth 40% of your grade. Um, you need to, what you need to hand in is your actual video presentation here on Canvas. You need to also submit a bibliography here on Canvas, a paragraph to one page proposal, and participate in the group workshops, okay? What do you need to include in the presentation? This is very important. Um, you need to relate um, the episode or topic to something that we've read in class. Um, could be a book or a journal article, book chapter, um, or maybe something that you found in one of the many uh, academic South Park, uh, South Park writings. Um, you need to use some sort of theory or theoretical framework to glue this together. So we go over a lot of stuff in here, like gender performance, uh, hegemony, uh, Marxism, you know, what, whatever it is, right? Um, you know, what else is out there? You know, if you're doing a presentation on race, um, maybe use critical race theory or something like in the works of bell hooks or something, something like that. So you're free to use um, theoretical ideas from other courses um, to kind of, you know, gel your stuff. But basically all theory is, is um, a structure or a way to connect the dots, um, you know, the facts and the dots, okay? Um, you need to describe in some way the context of production. So, um, you know, what influenced the main, what was the social issue or going on at the time that influenced the video? Maybe look at some of the aesthetic choices in the parody or satire. What does this episode say or the topic say about society? Um, and especially from Matt and Trey's libertarian perspective. Um, you know, I mean, you really can go anywhere here, but I really want you to have a theory and you need to have an academic sort of glue, you know, you'd be quoting people essentially. Um, again, have an intro, the meat and potatoes of it and a conclusion. You may want to come up with um, a thesis or a research question. So a thesis would be, you know, South Park uses the Margarita Margaritaville as a metaphor for people's misunderstanding of the economy while placing deep value in it, um, sort of like religion. So that's your thesis, and then you go in the, the presentation to prove that correct. The research question, you go, is the, Margarita, is the Margaritaville, the device, a metaphor for people's misunderstanding of the economy while placing deep value in it? Um, how is this similar to religion? And then you answer those questions, okay? Um, so again, I want you to sort of synthesize your topic with the readings, the lectures, say something that you know, um, wows us with how smart and analytical you are, you know, um, but we're really interested in, in what you think here, but specifically as you relate what you think to, you know, um, theory, data information that, that is out there. Okay. Um, again, you don't have to incorporate all this stuff, but you do need to have a theory and you do need to have some sort of reading involved in this. Um, you'll be graded on what you analyze, um, your actual analysis. Did you include some course materials in this, you know, some way? Do I hear the ideas from the class in here? Um, your overall presentation. So, you know, is it well practiced, well thought out? Um, do you keep time, you know, or do you go over or are you under? Is it fluid? Are you professional? Are you professional or not? Um, and then did you partake in the group workshops? Okay. Um, now, a timeline for success on this project. This is once you get in the group group or teams. You know, obviously you have to have um, a proposal done by the end of week five. By the end of the week six, you will have met with your group uh, for the first time and just introduce your idea, introduce yourselves. By the end of week seven, you'll have a comprehensive outline, um, you know, a structure that you'll that you'll uh, have put together by the next week uh, week eight you'll have a draft of your slides at least a rough draft that you showed your your team you kind of work through that stuff um, in week nine you will present the first part of your presentation your intro and maybe 
your research question or thesis and maybe a little bit of the, the meat meats and potatoes here and then the following week the week before um, it's due you'll meet and you'll do a full run through of your presentation in front of your group get a little bit of feedback before you record it um, anyway so you can read through the grades how you get an A B C or a D or an F I guess okay and that is basically that that is the final presentation so uh, you'll be working and doing a lot of group group work on this to actually finesse uh, finesse your ideas, um, which I actually think will, will be a lot better than um, you know me me doing that. Um, and I think the group group time is great because you know uh, people in your team are you know have different perspectives. They've seen different stuff, and they'll be like, "Well, have you heard this? Or have you seen this? Or what about this? Or da da da? You know, have you thought about this? You know." So it's really it will be really nice to have four or five people. Um, giving you some feedback and constructive criticism um, on your work. And so hopefully at the end, you'll have a really strong, really well fleshed out um, presentation um, that we get to see. So, um, you know, I was debating between do you have to, you know, making you, making, uh, asking you to watch everybody's presentation and leave a comment, which is really time consuming because we're talking about, you know, whatever, 30, 40 presentations that can take, quite a bit of time for you to watch and then leave a thoughtful comment so I thought a better way of using um, time for you would be actually working together for 30 minutes to an hour a week whatever it is to um, finesse your projects and, and make for a better project so I think this will be a better use of your time anyways that is the final presentation assignment description for Cine 399 South Park and Society I'm the real Dr. Dre and I'm out of this piece right here.